Hello, I'm Chuck Phillips, South Alabama Home Inspections, and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. I figured I'd do a short video on manufactured homes. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time, just now getting around to doing it. Uh, when I first started doing this home inspection business, I was getting calls to inspect manufactured homes, and I wouldn't do it at the time because uh, I knew that there were uh, many aspects to that that you should be familiar with prior to inspecting one, and, and that's why I went ahead and got certified uh, to inspect these manufactured houses. And it's a good thing I did because there are many, many, many components uh, to a manufactured home that simply doesn't exist in a stick-built house. And that's why, whether if it's here in the area I service, which is Mobile and Bowen County, uh, lower part of South Alabama, whether it's here or anywhere else within the state or nationwide for that matter, uh, that you hire uh, an inspector that's certified uh, to inspect manufactured homes because I'm, I'm on some of these social media platforms with some of these other inspectors who are out there inspecting these manufactured homes and are asking the community at large uh, to help them with some of the issues they think they've discovered during the course of one of their inspections. And that's not a good thing to do uh, because I, I question what, are, what have you missed? I mean, not, not what you found, but what have you missed? And, and that's also going to take more time uh, for a manufactured home inspection than it would ordinarily uh, than a stick-built frame home as the same issues so of all the many components that have to be addressed as far as that inspection. Now, if you're buying a new mobile home or manufactured home uh, and you're, you're going to a dealer and you bought it, it's going to be delivered wherever it's been brought to, uh, I wouldn't be the one uh, you would call for that. The, the state of Alabama is actually the ones who get involved in that process. In fact, it's the Alabama Commission of Manufactured Homes. Now, they will, or at least I think they will, get involved if it's being moved uh, from one location to another, but I'm pretty sure the, the, the extent of their inspection is going to be pretty much the securing of that to the next property. Now, where I come in, I'm, I also inspect as much of that as I possibly can, but I also inspect everything else too, you know, which should be looked at and it takes time to do it. And so that's what you would want as well. Someone that's going to take the time to do a proper inspection. Uh, now this is something you can do as a buyer, uh, without, and hopefully it'll save you some money on an inspection fee is if when you're out looking for these places to purchase, uh, look at the lot that it's on and make sure that it has proper grading. It has to have positive grading on all sides. If there's any negative grading where water uh, can get up underneath it, uh, that's a big problem. And it can be a problem to, uh, uh, such an expensive problem to mitigate that it may not be worth doing. And so I, I think it was me, I'd probably move on to something else. So that's something you can do as a buyer uh, to look out for when you're out shopping around for a pre-existing manufactured home. Now, uh, a lot of these are built pretty good, uh, but some of them wasn't. And others, you know, were neglected, and some have been. Some people actually have some skills to make them cosmetically look good too. Uh, usually, what I'll do is I'll look at the online listing uh, prior to coming out and doing my inspection, so I can kind of sort of get an idea of what it is I'm coming out to inspect. And what's so fascinating to me is how good these pictures look in the listing, and even sometimes when I go there to inspect the property, how cosmetically uh, good it looks like. But when you go to doing your inspection, you start finding it has some really big problems. And so uh, cosmetic and photographs uh, can be very deceptive as far as what you're getting into as well. And that's why you hire a home inspector. As the number one reason why you hire a home inspector is to try to find these latent issues that could be uh, hiding out in the background and potentially cost you a, a lot of money as a result. And so I hope you have good fortune you know looking for whatever it is you're trying to find now take your time doing so uh, this is something you don't want to rush into uh, I, I mean I understand if you're if you found a place and you uh, you I get the excitement of, of finding it and, and, and moving it in, moving into a new place uh, but you really don't want to uh, jump the gun too quick on this uh, because of the amount of money that you're going to be potentially out uh, it's always best, you know, to do your due diligence and try to find the best property and the best condition uh, manufactured home or house, wherever it may be, 
that you can possibly find. And the first step in doing that is, is hiring an inspector who's willing to take the time uh, to do a proper inspection, but more importantly, willing to take the time to explain the findings of the report to you. And that's something else that, that all inspectors should be doing. But another reason why I created this channel too, and I think there's over 130 something videos here, and that's why I've made them, is to help other people out there about the issues that we face here in South Alabama. It's a pretty brutal area we live in. And as a result, a lot of these videos are kind of focused around that. And so they'll be very informative to you. And also like the Facebook page as well, because there's articles there that can help you. And reach out to me as well, whenever it comes time to do your inspection. And thanks for taking the time to watch this and take care.